Hi, Freaky Wave here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to design a cake and the theory that goes behind it. So I'm also going to explain in the next video how to design a snare. So subscribe to my channel to be notified on that. So I'm here in the analysis section of Vital to tell you a bit about the theory. So as you can see, this is a saw wave. It has a lot of harmonics. So basically for a kick, what we want to do is have a sine wave, which, has, uh, which is a pure tone, has only sing one single harmonic. So to make a kick sound like a kick, what you want is have a rapid fall down of the pitch. Very important thing specific to Vital, you have to turn down the smooth down to zero. Otherwise, uh, your envelope is going to be smoothed out and you will not have uh, a very clicky kick. It sounds like a laser, so you can make it bipolar. I know it goes a bit more down, it sounds already more like a kick. But we're gonna make it much more better, don't worry. So, to make a good sounding kick, what you wanna do is never start at the top. You wanna start about a bit over the half. And then you go down to around 25% actually. Already it's sounding way more like a kick. What you want to also do is remove the sustain. So you only have a decay, so you can have control of the amplitude envelope. can also put a uh, distortion and link it to the envelope then <laughs> then you you go produce uh, arcor arcor kicks <laughs> um, but definitely here we're just going to make it a bit subtle subtle like this and you can use a compressor to to make it more punchy like turn up the attack turn down a bit the release and then here yeah, you have a, a bit uh, punchy kick you can also make the fall down a bit more fast of course there's also a pretty important thing as you can see now uh, the lfo is tempo tracked so it respects the tempo, so if I turn down the BPM, it slows down the envelope. We don't want that, it's a kick. We want a steady time, so we set it to seconds or a fixed time, if you're using any other synth. Yeah, I'm turning it into an envelope because I don't want it to repeat. Of course, it's a kick. It kicks only one time. So as you can hear, to me it's already sounding pretty good as a kick. So here you you can trick what we call the body. So basically the mm, the mm, that goes after the click. So that's the clicking part when the pitch falls down, and that's the body. And then there's the the release basically. So I'm gonna show you for another variant uh, that you can do, for example, uh, 808. You wanna pull up the sustain backup, and then you have your 808 basically. Put the drive a little bit. So, if you have any question, post it in the comments. If you have any suggestion of what subject you want me to talk over, post it in the comment too. I'll see you later. Enjoy your life!